this should be the same. This should be the same. What do I want the value at at one? Take the average. Right? It's very clear that I want it to be, you know, if this is an edge like that. An average filter will do it. I take, you know, one and two. Add together, divide by two, what do I get? 1.5, 3 half, right? I got 3 half right here. Right? I take 2 at the same, right? So it'll be like this, and 3. And what happens from 1, from 8 to 5? Still 0. So in effect, I'm using a filter, right? Which is the average filter to interpret, to fill in this this information. If I have at the end something like that. Okay? So it's kind of an operation again. So here would be up by two, right? In both directions. To simplify, I'm going to look at only one direction right now. Okay? And what is the next operation here? Average filter. So this could be one half, one half. I can use any no pass that I want. And I want this to be not a straight line, but a curve, right? So I want a curve like this. A smoother interpolation. Perhaps I don't want to use a one half, one half filter. I want a more sophisticated filter. So the, the function to interpolate, those are, you can design your own. You can use a MATLAB based interpolation uh, function. But the whole idea is, is exactly the same. We first insert sample, zero sample between the original sample, and then we use the filter H to interpolate. And there are many ways to interpolate, right? I can interpolate to be a, a low pass, a smooth interpolation, or I can use a high pass filter to interpolate. I can use anything I want to interpolate. If I'm an, 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 an artist, I want to, it looks very, very funny. I can, I can use any strange filter here. You should try that. It looks very, very strange. But that's the whole idea. So, question. Sorry? Yeah. Why do you choose the best? Uh, uh, the filter one half, one half? It's, it, it, it's just the one that I just discussed before. A low box filter. You can use anything you want. Okay? And if it's one half, one half, you have the average between samples. One half is a different way. So so the next thing I want to do is take a look at all of this. Hold on. In 50 domain, okay? What happened to the spectrum of your signal after it's going through an upsampling operation and then filtering operation? Okay? So that's that will come later on. Questions? Yeah. Uh, after the RS filter, uh, I think uh, the output is not uh, the, uh, the exactly like here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's, um, it's, uh, the, it's always the RS of uh, um, two sample and right. Yeah. And but uh, and if you want to have the the, the output like here, we must uh, <coughs> add. Add, add, add the average, uh, the average sample to the the the, uh, the output uh, view. Oh, that's a good good point. Yeah, this is the wrong solution. Good. So why is this wrong? Yeah, yeah, you you're wrong. Why is it? What is it wrong? I don't need idea of I'm giving you a wrong solution right now. So, let, so let, let's go through this operation, right? To see what's going on, okay? So here's my filter one half, one half. This is X of N. This is filtering, it's called it U, right? U. And what is my input response? One half, one half. Right? So let's do convolution. Okay? Here's the output. Why? Okay, I'm going to convert U with H here. So that's why. So who remember convolution? 
What do we do? We take this, right? We flip, then we shift, okay? So what, what happened here? I flip this, it's the same, and then I, I, I multiply, right? What do I get? One half, right? I got one half. Because I'm taking this, flip over here, it's right there. Right? One half. And I slide it here. One half. And then one. Very good. And then one. And then one half. And then one. Okay, one half again. And then minus one, minus one, minus one half. Okay. So doesn't work. <laughs> good, good, good. So how do I fix this? How do I want it to be like this? This is basically sample and hold, right? I'm, I'm here. I'm holding. Right? I'm holding to get that out of the soil. Okay, the idea is that. So I don't get exactly this interpolation function here. So how do I get that function? What does h have to be? What does h prime have to be? Such that I get this. One half, zero, one half. One half, zero, one half. Would that work? What happened at, at hand zero? I have one half, zero, one half. What's the output? Zero. Does it work? I think it's both one half at uh, minus one. Don't worry about this. It is symmetric, okay? I can shift any one and and any way I want. So one half here, and what, what do I get here? How do I make this a low pass filter? This is not low pass, okay? How do I make this a low pass filter? What if I do put a one here? Would that work? So I'm going to erase this and then use this new field x prime to get y prime. And hopefully we get something close to this. Okay? Let's do that. Uh, one. Let me send to this as minus one, zero, one. So make it simpler, okay? So one and zero. One half and minus one and one half and two. That's my new filter x prime. And here is the output y prime. So what's the value at when you convert this with this at times zero? You have it right here, right? One half times zero is zero. One times one, one is? One. 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 Zero times one half is? One. Zero. Zero. So you have one. If we shift this one sample to the right, what do you get? One half. One, one half times one is one half. <coughs> right? You have zero. What do you have here? One. one. So one plus one half is three half. Three half. One. Okay? It's too low. 